Home Pros Radio Show. I'm Tommy Donovan with RIC Home Inspections, and this is the Home Pros Radio Show podcast. While driving through neighborhoods on my home inspection appointments, I've been noticing more and more homes changing the way they provide energy to their homes. It's through the use of solar power. This, of course, inspires all kinds of questions like how does it work? How are these systems installed? Does it save you money? And who would you call to get a system like this installed in your home? Chad Childs is an energy consultant with Legacy Power and Sunrun. It's a company that's been providing solar energy to homes for over 30 years. Chad, who goes by C. Childs, helped us with our questions, and as you will hear, we couldn't have found a more energizing guest to power our conversation on solar energy in your home. We'd like to welcome in our special guest. We're talking solar today, solar power. And, uh, of course, we would be remiss if we do not introduce our friend C. Childs with this. To get your solar, C. Childs, solar. To get your solar, C. Childs, solar. To get your solar. C. Charles Solar. C. Charles Solar with Legacy Power. That's right. We have C. Charles with Legacy Power and Sunrun here today. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, it's Home Pros. Slick, little, <laughs> slick jingle you guys. Thank all day. you. Thank you. I yeah, really everyone. appreciate you guys. You guys, all your uh, listening fans get to hear the debut of that jingle, right? That's right. That's I right. They, I hope they all have big smiles on their faces like we do, right? Mm, exactly. <laughs> That's right. So we're talking solar power today. You know, uh, yes. Legacy Powers are also uh, tied in with Sunrun, and they have been the leader in the solar industry since 1977. We're glad to have you on today. I've been wanting to ask questions, all kinds of questions. So since 1977, I remember back in the 80s when people had these huge panels out in their backyard, kind yes. of like, remember the early satellite dishes? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. The big. <laughs> yeah, I think I have one in my backyard yes. once I made I it to a goldfish pond. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> You get that put in and you can get your MTV. Um, oh, yeah. But nowadays it's changed. And same thing yes. here. I, I, we see more and more of them going up um, Absolutely. more recently. What's the deal? What's the deal with that? <laughs> well, you know, solar energy is not a new technology. It, it's just being reintroduced and um, amongst a more educated customer base. Thanks to shows like yours. Thanks to programs that help people get into home, we have more homeowners than we've ever had before. Um, now we have places like Home Depot and Loans that where you can go walk in and increase your home efficiency and really invest in your home. And you guys are also marketing, though, that um, there are like benefits, like tax benefits. Yeah, that's, that's what I was wondering, the, the energy tax benefits. I figured that'd be a player. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So, uh, of course... Energy on a national level level is a major concern. Uh, if you listen to our politicians, they are even say it's a security concern. On the federal and state level, all across our nations, the federal government is offering up to 30% tax incentives. Here in South Carolina specifically, South Carolina lays on top of that a uh, 25% incentive. So people are using the government as a partner to go green. How does the solar power system work? Uh, you know, God gave everybody the sun, mm-hmm. right? The sun raises uh, and shines on everybody every day. Uh, so the solar panels that lay on um, the roof of your home um, just lay there and soak up the sun, the mm-hmm. direct current of the sun. Uh, and along with our systems are inverters that convert the direct current of the sun to alternating current so that it could flow through your home. So there's no moving parts, no noise, no pollution. They're just laying there using the natural sun as it moves over your home and converting it, the direct current, to alternating current so that it could flow through your uh, breaker box and uh, throughout the components of your home. Does it? Do you have a system to store it? I mean, I'm just sitting here thinking, okay, does it turn back to DC at some point in time, like in a battery? Or I mean, I'm just thinking more technical there. But um, is there a system to store it, or do you can you only use what you have at that time? So ultimately, it depends on how the customer wants to go solar. 
because so many utilities now have net metering programs, the customer actually has a choice. The customer, if they own their system, can install a storage system. Here in this state, that's not something Sunrun would do, although we do have a battery storage system. But because we are partners with the utility here with their net metering program, we do not have our storage facility product in this state. But in this state of South Carolina, we use the grid as the storage facility. I see. So you can just sell it back immediately Absolutely. and then get credit for it because Absolutely. you've already saved it. I, I understand. Correct. I understand now. That, and Correct. that makes sense. I mean, you still get the same effect, the fi- same final result, just in a different way. So, I mean, that makes sense. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, we're talking about ways you can save on power with C. Childs, legacy power. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So how much money can a solar power customer save? Every uh, solar system that is installed is custom. Mm-hmm. to the homeowner and the um, and the house. So there are some factors that go into play as how much energy is consumed summer, winter, spring, and fall. That's why it's very important for you to have an uh, energy consultant like myself that you would speak with to help you uh, go through the process. Ultimately, there has to be a sun test done on the home to kind of gauge an idea of how much power can be generated and how much exposure to the sun that the home has Mm -hmm. because everybody thinks they get a lot of sun oh yeah (laughs) right you don't you don't know how much sun you get till you see the person that really gets a lot of sun right (laughs) absolutely you don't know what you're doing absolutely that's why it's important that you consult with an energy consultant like myself c childs uh so we can educate you on the process and hold your hand through the process that process would include contacting you you would come out to the house yes do a test on the home to get an idea of what the you know, the exposure is. Correct. Tell us about the installation on the home. We attach a racking system to the top of the home so the panels do not lay flush mm-hmm. on the home. There's about uh, five inches of clearance between the racking system itself and the, and you're referring to and the, the shingles. On the roof. Yes. So, and then the panels lock and slide into place on the racking system. There's no major cutting or holes put into the roof. It's a simple attachment to the roof. That's one of the things that I thought about when I first saw them is, oh, I wonder what this effect is having on the roof itself. The only intrusion into the roof are the mounts. Correct. The rack stand on the support, the panels. Correct. Correct. Um, That is illustrated very clearly on the video that I have posted at C. Child's LGCY Power on Facebook. Okay. Please go there and like my page now. <laughs> <laughs> Get them on over there. Get them on over there. Wow. Wow. But yeah, the, so so basically these brackets are installed before all the rest of it. So because that was one thing I was wondering, do you na- have to navigate around these panels to make sure all these holes are sealed? And I guess that would make it a lot easier. Say someone needed to roof, a roof replacement. It can be taken up. Everything Absolutely. can be dismantled and put back together. Absolutely. It's, okay. it's easy plug and play. As a matter of fact, under our program, you can simply have the panels removed. And as a part of what we do, we guarantee that your home will be in light condition or your roof will be in light condition from when we installed the system minus natural weatherization and use. Yes. If someone does not like to look, when you do your solar test, are you basically going... uh, uh, I'm sorry, sir, ma'am. Uh, we're going to have to have it on the front gable of your roof. Do homeowners get to pick? Yes. Um, homeowners play a very significant part in the design phase of the system. Ultimately, uh, before we even get to what the system is going to look like, we discuss the exposure factor. So generally, when I come to, to the home, I ask the, the, the customer, show me the sunniest part of your roof. Mm-hmm. Right. That right there uh, will help the customer think about how the sun passes over their home. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times that uh, that customer will tell me right then, "Uh, I'm not particularly interested on having having them on the front. Mm -hmm. Right. And then we will just go through the natural progression on how solar works. And we'll we'll tell them you can make this much power with this design. 
you can make this much power with ah. this design. Right. So then they, so they, they have to them to make that decision. Based on yes. how much power they want. And, yes. Okay, so there are a lot of things to consider here. Yes. So some people would be willing to give up the looks of the house if they could get all their power bill paid yeah. for, I'm sure. But, you know, yes. I mean, uh, it means I, it'll I, help I'm me I'm pay my cable bill. The, the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, just, I'm talking about it. Hey, yes. wrap them on the wall. Yes. Let's do the whole thing. Okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> what happens on a cloudy day? I do get that question a lot. Ultimately, for the sake of mass communication, we say sunlight mm-hmm. or we say sun. But the system actually operates off the ultraviolet rays of the sun. So even on a cloudy day like today, it is still making power. Mm-hmm. Maybe not as much on a clear, sunny day in July. But anytime you can look outside and see daylight, that system is making power. And if you go with Sunbrown, we provide you with an, a meter in the form of an app on your phone. Or you just pull your phone out on a cloudy day and see how much power is being generated. So one interesting aspect here is you're actually working hand in hand, like as a partner with the, with the with utility, utility Correct. provider Correct. In, in, in most areas. Correct. Most of the major utilities are now under a federal requirement to have a mix mm-hmm. of green energy plus nuclear power. So, so they're uh, encouraging absolutely part of this deal. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. So they're not going to be like, <sighs> we got, we got another, another <laughs> <guy again. laughs> you send that out in the truck. Hey, <laughs> send it to the low man on the yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, Tom, <laughs> <take this>. Solar. <laughs> well, you know, most people have recognized that their utility, if they are customers or in a major service area, their utility has already come out to their house. And put a different meter on, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. but they just don't know why. Right. And uh, we step in and explain why. I gotcha. Well, um, very good information here. And, of course, we want to step in at this moment to explain Legacy Power. That's right. Uh, and Sunrun. I want to make sure that we yes. mention Sunrun because that's what everyone sees. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about that relationship. We say your legacy power, which, by the way, is LGCY. Uh, did y'all run out of money? Did y'all not afford to buy any vowels? <laughs> well, you know, everybody has the, uh, the the attention span of a goldfish now, so you got to sh- take some letters out. Short and everything. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. So. <laughs> so, yes, Sunrun is the nation's largest residential solar utility. So um, at this point, we have more than 150,000 customers nationwide, Mm. right? Um, We're more of a mobile utility. We don't need power lines. We don't need bucket trucks. Look, ma, no hands, Uh right? That's how it all works. Legacy Power is the sales engine or the sales force for the installation company, Sunrun. Okay. So typically you would not see a Sunrun employee unless you were inside of a Home Depot because of our national partnership with Home Depot. We handle the direct sales, direct marketing aspect, as well as the education piece for green energy, going solar, or just understanding how your current setup for um, power works. Mm-hmm. So we find our we find ourselves first educating people how how they're being charged for power now so that we can explain the difference on going solar. So we are absolutely energy consultants. Legacy power is the vehicle. Um, Sunrun is the muscle. What do you think about that audience? Wow. <laughs> so tell us, what does a homeowner do? They have the system installed. Is there maintenance involved with it? When a customer signs up to go solar with Sunrun, we take care of all the maintenance. Whether the customer decides to write a check and buy the system mm-hmm. or if they would like to enroll into our lease program. Mm-hmm. Either way, we take care of all maintenance, all repairs for 20 years. Does the equipment belong to the homeowner? That depends because, again, in this climate, customers have options. Okay. And um, going green is all about being in control and having more options. So when we sit down with a customer, we determine or we help them determine which process is best for them to write a check and buy the system outright Mm -hmm. and take advantage of the tax incentives or to enroll into our lease program where we maintain ownership of the system that therefore we still take care of all my, but either way, whether they write us a check up front or enroll into our lease program, 
we take care of all maintenance, all repairs. Well, then once you have it on, what's the process if you decide to move? So remember, it's all about having options, mm-hmm. right? So um, with Sunrun, if a customer wants to relocate, all they have to do is um, sell their home to someone who can qualify for financing. We align with a 650 credit score. So as long as that customer can qualify to buy the house, we guarantee that the service will transfer. So the so system stays with the house, not with the homeowner. And, and then I, I guess they would go through that same process again that they went through to have it installed in the Absolutely. new house. Absolutely. Do these solar systems, do they um, do they have a, like a life expectancy like... Um, solar like systems. Solar systems, yeah. I mean, where, <laughs> where, where do all the planets go? I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're like a couple of fifth graders. <laughs> they go the Milky Way. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So if you are a customer of Sunrun, that's not an issue because we take care of all maintenance, all repairs. If it breaks, we fix it. If it's underperforming, we fix it. How about life expectancy? Doesn't matter. We fix it. Okay. Normally what people normally say, hey, I, I can't see signing a 20-year contract. The contract is actually your service agreement. It's your service warranty. Um, so, uh, like I said, we design the system, we install it, we uh, repair it, we maintain it, and we have a 24-hour monitoring center, just like your security alarm on your home. If your system ever goes offline, we are uh, notified, mm-hmm. and we roll a truck. Good deal. Well, you know what? This is what it's going to sound like if you do call us <laughs> Childs. That's right. Yes. To get your soul. Go ahead and put your hands together. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so Come here, baby. <laughs> Don't talk. Just listen. <laughs> Just listen. That's a good jingle. I like Thank it. Thank you. So I'm going to be singing it all that, day. That one's going to be hard to forget. <laughs> See, Charles, that's what we want you to do. Yeah, that's right. Looks like you're going to be the uh, victim here, unless somebody calls in the next few minutes to get a hold of us and participate in our Out of This World Trivia Challenge. Come on, call all in. Right. Call in. That is going, going, gone. So... The Home Pros Radio Show <laughs> Trivia Challenge. It's on you, C. All Child. Right. All right, let's see what you got. <laughs> all right, so what we got here is a list of uh, questions that are all related to um, celestial objects. All right. But they're also related to our homes. Let's see how well you do. Ready? And you've got Shane here as a lifeline. Okay. All right, question number one. Have a need to wrench something out of its place? This name is actually a trademark version of this tool, which borrows its name from one of the moon's phases. A wrench. Yeah, what kind of a wrench? Satellite wrench. Satellite wrench? Mm. Ah. Uh, that would be a crescent wrench. Ah. One of the moon's phases. <laughs> How about the next question? Ready? Here we go. Need to smooth out a rough spot? No need to wait an entire year. Use this tool quickly to work your way around the task at sand. Sandpaper. You're sanding with what? What kind of sander? Handheld sander. Something that goes around and around. A circular yeah. sander. Give me to help you. <laughs> yeah. You got your Lifeline. Life Orbital. Yeah. Ah! Orbital sander. There we go. <laughs> you should have tapped me on the crescent, too. I had it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about this one? All right. <laughs> hey, are you feeling a chill down your spine? Use a lever on your manual thermostat to adjust the flow of this, and you'll be toasty warm in no time. Lifeline. Oh, God. I'm, I'm Come on, Shane. Don't fail me stand. now. Mercury. Oh! Yeah! 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 That's why it's time to <laughs> celebrate. Yeah. All right. That's Come C-child. on, put your hands together. <laughs> <laughs> Stop your fingers in this. Sack <laughs> <laughs> it to me. All right. That's C Child, <laughs> Legacy Power and Sunrun. To see the Sunrun install video that C. Childs mentions in our discussion, we have it posted on our Facebook page. That's at Home Pros Radio on Facebook. You can also visit C. Childs with Legacy Power and Sunrun on Facebook or call him directly to learn more. Here's his number. It's 864-678-0634.
Outside of the upstate of South Carolina? Simply visit Legacy Power online at lgcypower.com to get connected to a solar energy consultant in your area. Special thanks to C. Childs for joining us and thanks to you for joining us as well. A reminder to subscribe to our podcast to stay up to date on every new episode of the Home Pros Radio Show. Also, please feel free to share with your friends and leave us a review to let us know how we're doing. I'm Tommy Donovan with RIC Home Inspections. We'll catch you next time on the Home Pros Radio Show podcast. Thank you for listening to the Home Pros Radio Show. If you have a question for the Home Pros, visit us online at homeprosradio.com where you can contact us directly and also learn more about the topics and guests we bring to you each week. It's the Home Pros Radio Show online at homeprosradio.com or on the radio at 94.5 WGTK, The Answer.